Morning. So you can see I'm suffering from a little bit of hay fever today, but today's intentions are to look at a brake upgrade for the rear end of my 306. So this is a kit bought from Piggy Power. Uh, so what do we actually get in the kit? So firstly, we get these adapters. These allow us to use the existing rear calipers with the handbrake mechanism and actually offset the caliper enough to then run these 266mm discs. So these are vented discs, what would traditionally be on the front. Uh, I've paid a little bit of extra money to run drilled and grooved MTEC discs to match my fronts currently. So then we also get the wider carriers, the correct pads for those carriers, and then a nice little bag of hardware to replace everything. So once the adapters are installed and the wider carriers are installed, the procedure for this is exactly the same as changing the OEM rear brakes. So right, first step's going to be tart these up, make these match the front brakes. So uh, yeah, let's get spraying. Alright, so we've got the first coat of red on, coming out quite well already. And that's the second coat of red now on. So while these are drying and curing, I'm going to go pull the car around, get the tools out, and we're going to start cracking on with messing around putting these adapters on. Okay, so we've got the car safely jacked up on an axle stand. Um, remove the brake carrier, I mean, if you don't know how to do this, please don't touch your brakes, basically. Uh, you've just got two bolts, bang in there. Obviously, you'll have to take the little tiny retaining pin out of the slider there. Just knock that back to get clearance on there, and you can just pull that off as a one -er. So up next, we've got to contend with this disc retaining bolt being seized as per normal. Now, I recommend anyone gets one of these £15 impact drivers from Halfords. You can see I've got a little snapped off bit on there, but there's still enough just to put in. So you put it in, make sure it's set to left, and then give her a clout. And lo and behold, there she goes. She is now loose. Okay, so now the disc's off, we'll do a quick on the deck comparison. So obviously you've got the fact that that's vented, that's solid. And also we've got nearly a 15, 20 mil increase in diameter there. So all are breaking. So up next, we're gonna look at bolting this adapter in. So we're just gonna undo the caliper loosely bolt this in with the two high tensile bolts supplied by piggy power there and then we're going to work out how much of this shit guard we need to just cut out for additional clearance for the caliper okay so adapter loosely in we can see roughly just how much we need to remove off the bottom of this shit shield here so luckily mine's partially snapped through so i've just got a whiz the grinder straight through that okay so with that little bit of crispy goodness removed we now just need to torque the caliper up, make sure it's all done up correctly, wind this back, and then get our disc instated. Okay, so the disc's now on. Um, something I forgot to mention is just make sure when the caliper's moved over that you've got enough clearance on all your brake lines there. So nice little fingers gap, just to stop it rubbing on anything. Now, the only honest negative thing I've got to say so far about this brake kit is how tight these discs are on this hub centre. So even after wire knot and using some copper grease, as you can see there, I've still had the hammer of a disc on to the centre. So just something for people to watch out on and maybe Piggy can address this later on. Right, so next we're just going to fit the new carriers. Uh, they bolt straight back in and then we're going to get the pad straight in there. Okay, so there we go, that's the rear brake upgrade kit now installed, so we'll just have a little look around there. Yeah. Right, so something I just want to quickly talk about, and I actually give large to Piggy about this, and then made the same mistake myself, and that is the fitment of these pads. So, obviously, you've got this retaining clip, and these pads have been rumoured to drop out of these holders. Uh, that's simply because people have been fitting them wrong. So as you can see, there is a very keen difference between the two edges there. So the mistake I've just made, which a lot of people make, causing these to fall out, is putting this in this end. Now, if you do that, these pads don't actually retain in at all, and they will drop straight out. As you can see, that notch is specifically designed to have this pin go in, and retain everything together. 
so yeah you can actually go back and you can test this by giving the pad a rattle and just making sure it won't drop out i mean literally when you put this in the wrong way round it drops clean out without any pressure on it so obviously this is going to rattle at the moment because i also haven't pumped the brakes yet to apply pressure onto the brake pads uh, something else to also point out is obviously these little retaining clips don't forget them and what i also like to do is just knock this pin back that way so there's constant pressure on this pin and it can't be lost so yeah i'm just going to finish off by putting the wheel back on we're going to do a little before and after shot and then yeah you guys know what to do for the other side just copy this side Okay, so overall we've now got the front and the rear brake upgrade. So we've got Nissan Skyline 304mm set up on the front there, which Stefan Goldsworthy helped me with. Uh, we've also got the 266mm drilled grooved vented on the back there by Piggy Power. So overall brake and performance should be greatly increased. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll stop getting these weird comments about the brake calipers being too low, because now front and rear are both matching. So yeah absolutely spot on so i mean as you've seen the uh, piggy power kit is an absolute piece of piss to put on um i rate it yeah absolute love it the only problem i found is just with the disc fitment i think the discs personally are a little too tight on the rear hubs but that's not going to be a problem until it actually comes to removing the discs so overall i rate this kit um cheers for watching guys and i'll catch you later